Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to our second class, our second music class this week. This week, we're going to be learning about brass instruments. We're going to play the trumpet and the French horn, and we will also play a little rhythm game with some jingle bells, or maybe you have your egg shakers that we made from last week. You can play along with those. We're going to start with our scarf song warm-ups, and then we'll move into showing the brass instruments and talking about those a little bit. And then we will finish up with our jingle bell game today. Okay, boys and girls, let's warm up today with our scarf songs. So get your scarf or your t-shirt or your paper towel or anything that you have. And we're going to sing those songs. Remember that we did them the very first week and we warmed up with them. We're, they're going to be the same songs. All right, here we go. Sing along with me. Can you sing loud? Let's sing loud first. Stretching very tall, now I'm very small. Tall, small, now I'm a tiny ball. Good. Let's do it super, super loud this time. How loud can your voices go? Let's do it. Stretching very tall, now I'm very small. Tall, small, now I'm a tiny ball. Good. How about super soft this time? How quietly can you sing this song? Stretching very tall, now I'm very small. Tall, small, now I'm a tiny ball. Good, do you think you can sing it super slow? Let's try it. Get your scarf ready, here we go. Stretching very tall, now I'm very small. Tall, small, now I'm a tiny ball. Good, slow singing. Okay, let's try it super fast this time. Here we go. Super, super fast. Ready? Stretching very tall, now I'm very small. Tall, small, now I'm a tiny ball. Whew, good job, you kept up with me. All right, let's do our siren sounds next. Remember we did those? We're gonna start really low with our voices and then we're gonna go really, really, really high and come back down to really low. Can you do that with me? Let's sing um, on ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Good, it sounds like a siren. Okay, take your scarf this time and as we go up, I want you to raise your scarf in the air and as we come back down, I want you to lower your scarf back down. All right, let's try it. Good, do you think we can do that really, really softly? Maybe kind of mysterious and slow? Let's try it like this. Try it with me. Ran out of breath, did you? Let's try it again. Take a deep, deep breath, big, big breath, so we can make it all the way through. Good, that was better. Okay, let's try our siren super fast and super loud. How loud and how fast can you do it? Try to stay with me. Here we go. Woo! Good, one more time. Woo! Good, I think our voices are getting warmed up. Let's sing our firecracker song and then we'll get going with the rest of our class. All right, here we go. Firecracker, firecracker, what do you do? You burst and you pop till you just can't stop. Good. Let's sing it really loud this time. As loud as you can. Here we go. Firecracker, firecracker, what do you do? You burst and you pop till you just can't stop. Good. How about we sing it fast this time? Firecracker, firecracker, what do you do? You burst and you pop till you just can't stop. Good. Now let's do it quiet. Firecracker, firecracker, what do you do? You burst and you pop till you just can't stop. 
good. I think that song needs to go super loud this time. How loud can we sing? Firecrackers are pretty loud, so I think we need to sing the firecracker song loud. Here we go. Firecracker, firecracker, what do you do? You burst and you pop till you just can't stop. All right, very good boys and girls. Let's get on with the rest of our class today. Does anybody know what this is right here? This is called a mouthpiece. It's kind of a funny looking little thing, isn't it? The mouthpiece is what we put on the ends of brass instruments to blow into so that the brass instruments make a sound. But you know what is funny? When I blow into this, it doesn't make any sound. <sighs> when I blow air through it like we would a whistle, <sighs> it doesn't make any noise. You know what we have to do to make noise come out of a brass instrument? We have to buzz our lips. It's kind of it's kind of like this. It's kind of funny. And it's fun to do. Can you do it with me? Good. Now watch when I buzz my lips into the mouthpiece. Do you hear how it makes a noise now? Rather than just blowing. Blowing doesn't really make a noise, but if I buzz my lips... It makes a little bit more noise, right? So that's how brass mouthpiece works. In all brass instruments, you have to buzz your lips to make a sound. Who knows what this instrument is called? A trumpet. Yes, this is a trumpet. And I'm going to put our mouthpiece right in the top of this trumpet here. So... Here's our trumpet. Here's how it sounds. You've probably heard one before. They're a pretty famous instrument. Now, what is this piece called again? The part that we blow into? The mouthpiece. Good. And at the end of the trumpet, that's where the sound comes out. When you blow in the mouthpiece, the air goes through all of these tubes and it comes out the bell at the end. It's called the bell. It kind of looks like a bell maybe, right? It's bigger than the rest of it. So what's this piece? Mouthpiece. Good. And what's this? The bell. Good. All right. And you know what? You can play the trumpet in school when you get older. If you really, really like the sound of this instrument, this is an option for you to play in school. All right. Now, most trumpets are not this silver color. My trumpet is a little bit silver. Most trumpets are more yellow. They're made out of a metal called brass. It's kind of a yellowy metal. And that's what gives the instrument its characteristics. That's what we call brass instruments because they're made of brass. We have to buzz our lips. They're made of brass. So we have this piece, which is what? Mouthpiece. And we have this side, which is what, what's this called? The bell. And then what's the trumpet made out of? Typically, brass. All right. If I blow into the trumpet, will it make it play? Remember when we did that with the mouthpiece at the beginning? It doesn't play that way. What do we have to do? Buzz our lips, right. So I'll do that into the mouthpiece. See how that makes a nice sound when I buzz my lips? That's the trick to playing the brass instrument. Okay, so one more time. Review. This is called mouthpiece. This is called the bell. And what's a trumpet made out of? Brass, good. And one more thing about the trumpet and brass instruments in general. See these buttons at the top? Where my fingers go? Those are called the valves. The valves of the trumpet can change the note that I play. So if I blow into it without playing, pressing any valves, <coughs> it's just one note, right? Now I'm going to press a different valve. <coughs> See how the sound changed a little bit? It got lower, right? It's a different note. 
So the valves are what change the notes on brass instruments. And sometimes by blowing a little bit harder or blowing a little bit less, you can also change the note. That's why there's only three valves. There's not only three notes, but the valves in different combinations can help us play different notes along with the speed of the air that we blow through the instrument. So this is a special instrument to play. It takes a lot of musical skill, which I'm sure all of you have. Okay, so review one more time all of the parts of the instrument. What's this called? Mouthpiece. What's the end called? The bell. Yep. And it's made of what? Typically brass. And what are these guys called? Valves. Good. All right, now check this out. This goes with a trumpet. It kind of looks like a cone, doesn't it? It's kind of a funny looking thing. This is called a mute. And mutes can be put in the end of the trumpet like this, and it'll give it a different sound. So here's how a trumpet sounds with a mute. Do you hear it? What's different about that sound compared to without a mute? You're right, the mute makes it softer. It makes gives it a quieter sound. So sometimes composers will ask the trumpeters to put a mute in their trumpet when they want a little bit quieter trumpet sound or a little bit different style. So that is the mute. All right, so that's a little bit about the trumpet. We're gonna move on to a different instrument here called the French horn. So here, boys and girls, we have what's called a French horn. Ben, can, this is my friend Ben. He's going to help us today with the French horn. Can you hold up the French horn and show him? How does that look different from a trumpet, do you think? Yeah, it's more in a circle, right? A trumpet is more of a straight line, but this brass instrument is shaped more in a circle. Now, it's got the same features as a trumpet. It's got the mouthpiece. Can you show us the mouthpiece? Yep, it's got a mouthpiece just like a trumpet. Where's the bell on the French horn? Where the sound comes out. Can you show us the bell? Yep, at the top here. And what's it made out of? Just like a trumpet, do you remember the word? Made out of brass usually. Yep, that's why we call it a brass instrument. And one more thing, what else was on the trumpet? The valves. Yep, do you see the valves on the French horn? They look a little bit different than the trumpet. But they're right there. Those are what change the notes. <clears throat> so, Class, if you blow into a French horn, does that make it play? Ben, can you blow through the mouthpiece? Just blow. Yeah, that doesn't make any sound, right? What do we have to do again, just like the trumpet? We've got to buzz our lips. Yep. <coughs> can you do it with me? <coughs> so, Ben, can you show us what it sounds like when you buzz? Just <coughs> like that? Yeah, just or... play a note. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. That sounds like a brass instrument, right? It sounds a little bit different than a, than a trumpet. What's special about the French horn is the French horn player has to put his hand inside of the bell and kind of like a, I don't know, how do you do it? Like that. Like that. That's It kind of changes the timbre sometimes. You can stick it up farther in the bell or leave it out farther. <clears throat> so show them one more time. Mm-hmm. So this is also an instrument you can play when you get a, get a little bit bigger. Ben, can you show them how the sound changes when you press a valve, how the notes change? <laughs> Not my best scale. But... <laughs> but you can tell that the sound changes a little bit when you press the valves. All right, so let's review one more time. Where's the mouthpiece? Good. And what's this part called down here? The bell, yep, what's it made out of? Brass, and what are these guys called that change the notes? Valves, good. Thank you, Ben. All right, boys and girls, as promised, it's time for our jingle bell game. So go ahead and grab your egg shakers if you made some from last class. Those will work just fine. 
But here I've got some jingle bells. And how we play the jingle bells, if you remember from last class, I showed you a little bit. We hold them upside down like this, and we tap the top. So let's try this. I'm going to play the jingle bells, and I want you to sing the song Jingle Bells with me while I play. Here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Cool, huh? So, does it sound like Christmas? Yeah, they kind of sound like sleigh bells. All right. Now, last week we talked a little bit about playing instruments soft and loud. Let's try to play, you can shake your egg shakers along. I'm gonna try to play the jingle bells really softly. Can you shake your egg shakers softly with me? I have to tap really lightly to make the bells play soft. Okay, let's shake them loud now. Get your egg shakers ready. I'm gonna play the jingle bells nice and loud. to tap really hard to make them play loud and soft. Shake your egg shakers with me. And loud. Good. Let's try this. I'm going to play the bells four times, just four. And I want you to shake your egg shaker with me just four times. We're just going to count to four. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. Stop. Did you stop in time? Try it again. One, two, three, four. Good. One more time. Get your egg shaker ready. One, two, three, four. Very good. <clears throat> How about this time? Let's try eight. Only eight times. No more, no less. Get your egg shaker ready and shake it with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Good. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Okay, let's try that again, but this time we're gonna do, do it really slowly. We'll tap it eight times again, only eight, no more, no less, but we're gonna go slowly like this. Try it with me, get your egg shaker. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Good, that's a steady beat. That's a nice steady beat. One more time, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. What is the opposite of slow? Do you know what we're gonna do next? Yeah, we're gonna go fast. Let's try eight times again, only eight, no more, no less. Super fast, get your egg shaker ready, but stay with me. Don't get too ahead of me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Good, one more time, you can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Good. Okay, let's try some different rhythms. We've been doing steady beats this whole time, right? Nice and steady, whether they're slow or fast, they're all steady. Let's try some different combinations. Let's try this one. Can you play it with me? One, two, one, two, three. Now you do it with me. Get your egg shaker. Let's try it. One, two, one, two, three. Good. One more time. One, two, one, two, three. Nice work. How about this one? One, two, and one, two. Try it with me. Get your egg shaker. Here we go. One, two, and one, two. Good, good rhythm. Okay, now comes the fun part of our game. We're gonna play our bells or your egg shaker that you have in different ways. Let's try it like this, above the head. Shake your egg shaker up here. Let's do one, two, one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Good. Now take it down all the way by your feet and get ready. We'll do that same rhythm all down by your feet. Get your egg shaker. 
One, two, one, two, three. Again, down by your feet. One, two, one, two, three. Doug, can you try it behind your back? Put your egg shaker behind your back. Let's try it. One, two, one, two, three. Again, one, two, one, two, three. Good. Let's try it with our arms crossed. This might be hard. I'll try it. Ready? Cross your hand, cross your arms with your egg shakers. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Good. Can you do it while you're dancing? Let's get our dancing shoes ready. Get moving around, dance around. Ready? Let's do one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Good. Can you try it while jumping up and down? I'm not going to be able to jump up and down, but maybe you can try it while we're playing. Get, get your shakers. Jump up and down. One, two, one, two, three. Good. How about spinning around? Can you spin around and do it? One, two, one, two, three. Good. One more. I want you to try hopping on one foot. I can't do that right now, but you can. With your egg shaker, hop on one foot. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Whew. Good work, class. That tired me out. Well, thank you so much for joining us for our second music class this week, boys and girls. Um, next week, we're going to be talking about woodwind instruments. Today, we talked about brass instruments. Remember, they have a mouthpiece. They have a bell. They're made of brass, usually. And they have valves to change the notes. Next week, we're going to talk about woodwind instruments, which are a little bit different. And you'll see why next week. So we hope to see you then. Bye!